showdown of smarts with big time prizes on the line. 38 teams battled eight long months for the chance to be on the big stage. Now two stands, Cedar Cliff and Cumberland Valley. Tonight they go head to head for top honors. The Capital Blue Cross Brain Busters Championship. Live from Whitaker Center in Harrisburg, here's your host, Rich Rosen. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the biggest Capital Blue Cross Brain Busters show of the season. My name is Rich Rosen, and we are about to witness an amazing night of academic competition live from the Sunoco Performance Theater at Whitaker Center for Science and the Arts. 38 teams of high school students competed at Studio A, and tonight it narrows down to these two. Let's meet our teams. From the West Shore School District, please welcome the Cedar Cliff High School Brain Busters team. This team is coached by Mrs. Audrey Palazzo, biology teacher. The team consists of three seniors and one sophomore. The team's alternate is Joseph Gribb, a sophomore. Welcome the Cedar Cliff School Brain Busters team. And now, just a few inches apart on stage and only a few miles away geographically, please welcome the Cumberland Valley High School Brain Busters team. This team is coached by Mrs. Donna Benson, teacher of special interests. The team consists of three juniors, one freshman, and the team's alternate is Matthew Zimmerman, a junior. Now, one of these two teams is going to become this year's 2007 Capital Blue Cross Brain Busters champions. There's a lot at stake. Scholarship money to the Pennsylvania State System of Higher Education, a generous cash scholarship from Capital Blue Cross, and Capital Blue Cross, our corporate sponsor, has put together an amazing prize package, which we'll tell you about later on. Now, this is just a great night, a big hour ahead of us. We've got some big surprises for you. Thankfully, I'm not alone. Joining me is News 8's Lori Burkhalter. Lori, welcome back to Brain Busters. Uh, Rich, thank you so much. It's exciting to be back here. And by the way, I want to say congratulations to the two teams. Already, I think they're winners because they had, had to beat out so much competition to be here. Already did such hard work. Cliff and Cumberland Valley, good luck to you guys. Not to put any pressure on you, but you know you are competing in front of all your friends and family out there in the audience tonight, as well as our live audience watching throughout the Susquehanna Valley. And you're competing for an awful lot of money and prizes because it's not just about winning the competition tonight, but also the winning team, get this, their school wins as well. They'll be holding a raffle at the winning school, and they'll be giving out all kinds of prizes. We'll have a list of those prizes for you a little bit later on the show so you know what they're in for. Also, we want to get to know the teams a little bit better. We actually took our cameras to the high schools, and we'll show you what they had to do to get ready for tonight. But, Rich, we want to start this game, so I'm going to toss it on over to you. Well, thanks a lot. I'm looking forward to all that from you, Lori. But right now, I'm ready to begin, but I need my questions. Thank you. Capital Blue Cross's Blue Man. Thank you. And look, they're the same color. Ladies and gentlemen of our studio audience, viewers at home, players, get ready because here comes tonight's opening round. Ten point questions, one big brain buster, compliments of pizza. Good luck to all eight of you. Pick up those signaling buttons and use them frequently. Nine of the world's ten highest mountains are in this Asian mountain range. Colin, Himalayas. The Himalayas is where Mount Everest is located. Green plants use sunlight to make carbohydrates from car... Andy. Photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is the biochemical process that we were going for. Pissarro, Monet, Renoir, Degas were among the first to work in this artistic style, which, Michael. Impressionism. Impressionism stressed the effect of natural light on objects, and that gets Cumberland Valley on the board. It can be your business, especially if it's a dishonest one. It can be a racket. Colin, a racket. It can be a loud, disturbing noise or a piece of tennis equipment. Good anticipation, Colin. Supreme Court decisions have greatly influenced U.S. history. In 1803, the Supreme Court declared. Ryan. Marbury versus Madison Marbury judicial versus, review. That is absolutely correct. And the decision, the right to declare acts of Congress unconstitutional. Good job, Ryan. Discovered by Charles Goodyear, it's the process that turns rubber latex, Andy. Vulcanization. Vulcanization turns rubber latex into usable rubber. Correct. It was the code name the War Department gave to the World War II program. Colin, Manhattan Project. That is correct. That produced the first atomic bomb. Every year on January 1st, you can be sure that someone somewhere will sing Old Lang Syne. What Scots poet wrote the lyrics to the poem? Colin again. Burns. Robert Burns is correct. And now it's time for the big brain buster. Whoever answers this question correctly will earn 10 points for their team and a gift certificate to Pizza Hut for the entire team. In Article 3, Section 3A of the U.S. Constitution, it's a Find as 
levying war against the United States. Tim. Treason. Treason and adhering to their enemies, giving them aid and comfort. The only crime defined in the Constitution, as Tim so perfectly said, is treason. Congratulations, Cedar Cliff. In the United States, Donald Hall is the current one. In England, it's Andrew Motion. Samantha. Poet laureate. They, that is the literary position that they both hold. You are correct. In 1986, it became the last country in Europe to allow its women to vote. What tiny principality is bordered by Austria and Switzerland? Colin. Liechtenstein. Liechtenstein is absolutely correct. It's a substance added to a solution that keeps the pH constant when an arsen. A buffer. A buffer that a nascent or base is added. The chemist, of course, calls it a buffer. Statistics tell us that one in every two marriages in the United States will end in divorce. Michael. Uh oh, I'm sorry. Uh, anticipation didn't work in your favor. I'm going to complete the question for Cedarcliff. Far fewer will be declared invalid from the very beginning. What term designates this method, Andy? Annulment. Annulment is this method of ending a marriage. You are correct. His most recent musical song and dance, The Beautiful Game, and The Women in White have not been nearly as successful as his earlier works, Evita, Cats, and Phantom of the Opera. Samantha. Andrew Lloyd Webber. Andrew Lloyd Webber is the British composer that we were going for. Between 1910 and 1920, this city's literary renaissance included Sherwin Anderson, Theodore Dreiser, Tim. New York. No, sorry, incorrect. I'm going to complete, uh, complete the question for Cumberland Valley. Theodore Dreiser, Edgar Lee Masters, and Carl Sandburg. What Midwestern city is it, Ryan? Chicago. Chicago is absolutely correct, yes. The shin bone is the tibia. What's the knee bone? Andy. Ooh, sorry. I'm going to have to take that as incorrect. Cumberland Valley, any idea? Michael. Patella. The patella is known as the knee bone, yes. He has a strong face with a high forehead, massive eyebrows, heavy mustache, and peculiarly white, sharp teeth when... Colin. Dracula. Dracula, when Jonathan Harker first meets him in Bram Stoker's novel. From 1793 to 1815, he fought against the First Coalition, Andy. Napoleon. Napoleon, the Second Coalition, the Third, and the Fourth, being defeated by the Fifth Coalition. This language has the shortest alphabet in the world. Colin. Hawaiian. Hawaiian does only 12 letters, in fact. Rain in the Ethiopian highlands is the principal cause of the annual flooding. Colin. Nile. Nile is the longest river in the world. You are correct. And that sound takes us to the end of the round and to our first break. Gives our players a chance to relax a bit, and I know they're happy about that. We'll be back with more of Capital Blue Cross Brain Busters Championship Final, live from Whitaker Center for Science and the Arts. But first, let's hear some music from the Cedar Cliff Jazz Ensemble under the direction of Ben Goldsboro. There's only one thing as important as good health for our children, and that's education. I'm Anita Smith, President and CEO of Capital Blue Cross. By simply supporting our schools and our teachers, we give our children the opportunities they need to succeed. When you get involved in your child's education, you'll create a thirst for knowledge that will last a lifetime. Capital Blue Cross. Simple. Keystone Custom Homes and WGAL 8 are proud to sponsor the WGAL Keystone Star of the Month program, honoring students taking action and responsibility who are making a difference in the lives of their family, friends, and neighbors. Recognize the stars in your community. If you know a student in grades 7 through 12 who is making a difference in your hometown, nominate them to be our next WGAL Keystone Star of the Month. To nominate your star, pick up a form at one of over 20 Keystone Community Model Homes located throughout the Santa Valley. All over Pennsylvania, people are searching for buried treasure every day. You just have to know where to look. One treasure hunt, please. Introducing the new game from the Pennsylvania Lottery, Treasure Hunt. With a jackpot that starts at $10,000 and keeps rolling. Just pick five of only 30 numbers and watch the online animated drawing every day. The only lottery game drawn just at midday. Treasure Hunt. Dig up some fun every day. You are my sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray You'll never know, dear, how much I love you Please don't take my sunshine Where do you see yourself this summer? Get there at the Saturn Memorial Day Sale. For seven short days, get 0% financing for 60 months on select 07s, like the Ion, View, and View Greenline Hybrid. Hurry, sale ends May 31st. 
See your local Saturn retailer today. Blue Cross Brain Busters Championship Final. Live from Whitaker Center for Science and the Arts. I'm here with Lori. Lori, a great so far, yeah. but in case you're just joining us, let me give a quick, quick recap sure, to our definitely. viewers. We played our opening round so far. Cedar Cliff has a lead of 130 mm -hmm. to 70, but it's very early in the game. We'd like to thank the Cumberland Valley Orchestra Quartet and Arjan Mudan, one of the players, is doing double duty. You have to marvel at the incredible background knowledge, the listening skills of these students. How do you think they do it? I think they're doing great. You know it, and there's no doubt about it. These are smart students. That's the reason they're here tonight, live at the Whitaker Center in this championship round. But we wanted to really know what goes on behind the scenes, you know, how they get ready for this. So we took our cameras to their schools. We're going to start with Cedar Cliff because this is a team, yeah, they're competitive, but they're also, they also follow a lot of traditions, and, you know, they know how to deal with technical glitches. Watch us. I think it's really great. I mean, I've been for four years. We've waited for four years to really get past the second round, and now that we're to the end, you know, it, it's really something that we've been trying for. Go with God. Those four years of practice and competition are paying off for the members of this year's Cedar Club team. It's a team full of quirky personalities and some pretty interesting traditions. Let's start with a little practice. We'll do, I don't know, four of these. The winds of war. World War II. World War II, yes. See that guy who keeps answering all the questions? He's right and it drives his teammates crazy. So much so they often unplug his buzzer when he's not looking. I don't know. Give him a fair chance. <laughs> But a few minutes into the practice, nobody's buzzer's working. One team member thought the equipment fell hot, suggested putting it in the freezer to cool it off. Plazio thought the idea was crazy enough to work. Oh, no While they waited for the machine to cool, another team tradition arrived at school. Just every time we win, we go to Wendy's. Senior Andy Murray is more than happy to chow down, more than anyone else on the team. Uh, I have about half of the dollar menu every time we go there. After the meal arrived, it's time to check the machine, cooling in the freezer next door. Back in business. Amazingly, it worked. With the machine now cooled, it's time to finish what they started. Cork. The girl on the team gets stuck cleaning up, but she says she's confident in her place on the team, despite some razzing from her male teammates. At least I know that I'm the prettiest one in the room. It's a team with loads of personality, brains, and determination, ready for a challenge. We're making school history right now, so we might as well go. Yeah, no, Susanna and Joe, by the way, they're not up here on stage. They are part of the team, though. They're the alternate, so that's why you saw them in that piece. Now, moving on to Cumberland Valley. They are a young team, you know, compared to Cedar Cliff, but they also follow a lot of tradition. Don't be fooled by their youth, though. They are very competitive. Watch this. <laughs> I'd have to say I'm the uh, history freak of the group. Each member of the Cumberland Valley Brain Busters team has a favorite topic. Some even have a favorite way to bring the team luck on match nights. Well, I wear on each foot every match. Arbitrator. We caught up with them during one of the final practices before the big match against Cedar Cliff in this year's Capital Blue Cross Brain Busters Championship. That day, peers asked the questions. Name the two oceans located at line 180. Arctic and Pacific. And the team even had a little encouragement in the room from a nearby Latin class and the school's mascot. We give us UK! This is a hard-working team and it's a young team. None of them are seniors. I feel that it's a great thing that we've done to get this far in the competition and especially as a freshman I think this is a great opportunity. Just like many athletes, these teammates share the drive to compete and to win. I just like the competition and uh, just things and competing against other teams. I've always been pretty competitive and I really enjoy competitions. Well, I think it's obviously a great opportunity for us. I'm, I know our entire team's excited to go to the Waker Center and take part in the finals. And it's really awesome that we're in the fun. It'll be a really cool show. And when it's all over, win or lose, these teammates can be sure of one thing. They're some pretty smart kids. After all, this is your brain. And this is your brain on Brain Busters. It, it's been a blast, really. Yeah, I couldn't imagine anything uh, being score related and more fun. All right, what's a team without the coaches? So we have the coaches here with us this evening. Of course, for Cedar Cliff, we have Audrey Plazio and Donna Benson, who is with Cumberland Valley. First of all, what do you think about the students, how the team's doing so far? Audrey? I'm just thrilled that 
A nice, strong start. I'm yeah. happy for them. They do. They're 100 th 130 to, to 70, but it's still early in the game. It still is. So any special subjects you were practicing before tonight? Well, each team member has their own strengths, so that's why they're such a nice, well-rounded team. No subjects in particular. I know people are playing along at home, but hey, these are some good questions to ask these students. Put a lot of people to the test. Donna, how do you think about the team at CV? Well, I think it's good. They like to make their coach nervous, though. <laughs> they really enjoy that, so uh, we're going to pick up here. I'm just amazed at how cool, calm, and collected these students I think underneath they're a little bit more nervous Lord. than it looks. <laughs> they're not showing it at all. Well, so far, so good. Congratulations to both of you for having your teams here tonight. It's quite an accomplishment to Thank be you. here. Thank nice you. meeting you both. Of course, the coaches, let's hear a round of applause for the coaches. They did a fantastic job getting these teams ready. Rich, we're going to toss it on over to you. Thanks, Lori. That was fun. To reach this point in our tournament, our teams had to survive a level of competition equal to any sporting event. Heartbreaking for those that didn't make it this far, and perhaps a little nerve-wracking for those that do. Capital Blue Cross Brain Bus Championship Final, live from Whitaker Center for Science and the Arts, continues in just a moment. But first, let's take a look at the 36 other teams that competed at Studio A at WGAL. Capital Blue Cross and WGAL salute the high school team that competed this season on Capital Blue Cross Brain Busters. Elizabethtown, Conestoga Valley, Mechanicsburg, Bishop McDevitt, Harrisburg Academy, Peckway Valley, Elko, Donegal, Middletown, Dallastown, Susquehanna Township, York Catholic, Lower Dauphin, Cedar Crest, Spring Grove, West Perry, McCaskey, Penn Manor, East Pennsboro, Hershey, Blue Mountain, New Oxford, Redland, Trinity, Biglerville, Kenterdale, Hempfield, Steelton High Spire, Shippensburg, Northern, Trudolphin, Carlisle, Lancaster Catholic, Warwick, Lampeter Strasburg, CD East, Capital Blue Cross Brain Busters will return following these messages. This has been an amazing month, and it just keeps getting better. Thanks to all my new friends at Buick, we're collecting more cards for the troops than we ever could have on our own. And now they want to say thanks to you. Now through May 31st, during the Memorial Day sales event, current Buick owners get 0% financing plus $17.50 total bonus cash on LaCrosse and Lucerne models. It's our way of saying thanks. Visit BuickHotBuys.com by May 31st. Bonton's Memorial Day Metro Sale and Closeout is our biggest event of the season. Save 50% on all Sealy and Simmons mattress sets, every size and firmness. Save 40% on all Stearns and Foster luxury sets. Plus, it's your last chance to purchase a Simmons Caress Memory Foam Queen set for only $998, our lowest price ever. And receive free delivery and free removal of old mattress. The Memorial Day Metro Sale and Closeout ends Monday. Come to the right place. Bonton. What makes a great backyard celebration? Friends and great fresh food from Wise. From delicious meats and vegetables to fresh made deli items, Wise brightens any occasion. Fire up your grill and save with your preferred Shoppers Club card on Wise Steakhouse Angus Top Round London Broil. Buy one regular or jumbo Kunzler meat franks. Buy one, get one free. And first of the season, whole seedless watermelons, just $4.99 each. Wise, where freshness matters. This has been an amazing month, and it just keeps getting better. Thanks to all my new friends at Pontiac, collecting more cards for the troops than we ever could have on our own. And now they want to say thanks to you. Now through May 31st, during the Pontiac Memorial Day sales event, current Pontiac owners use total bonus cash and get into a new Pontiac G5 starting at 40. It's our way of saying thanks. Visit PontiacHotBuys.com. Offer ends May 31st. Hi, I'm Richard Demensic. I'm the superintendent of the West Shore School District, home of our Cedar Cliff High School Brain Busters team. We're really proud of our kids. They're tremendous ambassadors for the well-rounded, wonderful education they get at our school district. Thank you and good luck, Colts. Hi, I'm Jean Walker, superintendent of the Cumberland Valley School District. And I'd like to offer my congratulations to Cumberland Valley High School's Brain Busters team. 
Uh, good luck tonight to Ryan, Arjun, Samantha, Michael, and Matt. We're all pulling for you. Live at Whitaker Center for Science and the Arts. I'm Rich Rosen, and I hope you're having as good time as we are. So far, we've played our first round, the opening round. Scores are looking good, 130 to 70. But everything can change right now as we head into my favorite. The one-on-one -on -one rapid fire. I love this round because it gives us a chance to talk to the players and learn about what's happening in their very busy lives. Now, over the course of our tournament, we've learned so much about these students. In fact, this is their sixth appearance on the show. We're first starting with Colin Reynolds. Colin Reynolds, a senior over at Cedarcliff, he will be attending West Point. He is a member of the Model UN. He participates in JROTC. He's a national merit finalist, and he organized a blood drive at CC. I you can say with tongue in cheek, uh, you're basic underachiever. Next to him, of course, is Michael Liu, and he is a freshman, the youngest member of the Cumberland Valley team. We've learned about him. He met Alex Trebek at the 2006 National Geography B. He's a member of the Memory Competition uh, Club that they have at Cumberland Valley. He's a state finalist in the AAA Travel Challenge. This summer he participated in the uh, American Music Abroad to Europe, or he's going to, playing violin. And he attended a special program for students at John Hopkins. Great students. Let me ask you, I understand that you had an experience once where somebody accosted you or approached you once about your experience here? I was actually walking into a uh, baseball game on City Island, and as we were going to the ballpark, uh, some kids looked like they were from Redland, uh, actually. Hey, are, are you on Jeopardy or something? I said, Brain Busters, you mean? And they're like, yeah, you're famous. <laughs> I'm like, not really, but. <laughs> well, we're so pleased to shine the spotlight on you, Colin, and certainly shine the spotlight on Michael Lou. Michael, how do you feel being with all these older kids? I mean, you're the young. You feeling okay being part of this team? Um, well, I'm feeling pretty okay for not only this, but also Quiz Bowl. I'm the only freshman on either of those teams at our school. And occasionally they pick on me for being the only freshman, but <laughs> just as long player. as I answer the questions, I'm fine. You are. Michael, you're a great player. We've witnessed it all season. Let's see what happens tonight as we put Colin and Michael one-on-one. -on -one. Five pairs of U.S. presidents have shared the same last name. Which pair was not related? Colin. Johnson. And of course, the others were Adams, Harrisons, Roosevelts, and the Bushes. It runs from Mount Hermon through the Sea of Galilee to the Dead Sea along the... That's Michael. Jordan River. The Jordan River through the west side of the Golan Heights. The river, of course, is the Golan River. And finally, because of their different distances and sizes, stars seem to vary in brightness as well. What unit of measurement expresses Colin? Uh, lumen. No, sorry, that's incorrect. Michael, you have an opportunity. Michael. Parsec? No, the relative brightness is expressed by magnitude. 40 to 80 as we now meet our two captains. First, I can tell you something wonderful about Robert Kasarowicz. He is a senior. National TSA reporter, which has to do with technology. He's a member of the Science Olympiad team. He's on the debate team. A uh, Cedar Cliff for less than half of his classes because he's so busy going to Redland and to the middle school. And speaking of the middle school, he's doing his senior project at the Lemoyne Middle School. Of course, Ryan Kreitzer, the captain, he's a junior. He had past summer he attended the National Youth Leadership Conference in the District of Florida. He's a member of the bowling club, his American math contest participant, Thon fundraiser. And during the summer, he works, and during most of the summers, he works on racing cars. Robert, you, you said you've been waiting for four years for this very moment? Yes, yeah, after four years of doing this, I'm very happy that I finally be here. Fine. And Ryan, how do you feel tonight? Is it a little different than the Studio A at WGAL? Uh, it's a little different, a little louder with the bands here, but I like it. So All right. Well, we'll hopefully you'll do well as we put Robert and Ryan one-on-one. -on -one. Good luck to both of you. This political party took its name from an ancient people of the Roman Senate. Francisco Franco and Benito Mussolini were famous ones. Which party is it, Ryan? Fascist. Fascist is absolutely correct. An Italian sonnet is divided into two parts. The first part has eight lines. How many lines are in the second part? Uh, that's Robert. Six. This is absolutely correct, because all sonnets, of course, have 14 lines. And finally, his name was Andreas Vesalius. He was professor of surgery at the University of Padua and is considered the father of this medical field. Which one? Ryan. No, sorry. 
Any idea, Robert? Robert? Cardiology? No, you're both great guesses, though. It's anatomy is the correct answer. He actually wrote the first textbook on anatomy. And now let's meet our next players. Andy Murray is a senior. He plans to uh, major in molecular biology and laboratory research. He's going to Ursinus College. He plays music, guitar, bass, drums, and banjo. He is going to Europe this summer. What a great opportunity. And he recently participated with a video conference at school with a well-known professor using the wonderful technology that West Shore provides. And next, Samantha Nielsen, grade 11, junior. She's a speed reader. Uh, apparently, she can easily read a book uh, every day. Uh, she prefers to wear mismatched socks. She's the captain of the Life Smarts team and won the state contest sponsored by the Attorney General. She's a Forensic Science Club member and an independent project special interest she uh, continues to work on. Andy, I've got to ask you, what's the deal with the sport, uh, the, the, the fancy uh, outfits here? Well, I'm very glad you asked. These are uh, compliments of After Hours Formal Wear next to JCPenney's in the Capital City Mall. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> Obviously, you have some good friends. A shameless plug, but we love it anyways. And uh, Samantha Nielsen, uh, Samantha, what does it feel like to be the only uh, female on your team? Well, um, I really don't get as much a hood time about it as Michael gets for being a freshman, but a little picking on. Well, well, we won't pick on you as we put you to one-on-one, -on -one, Andy and Samantha. In the 1930s, he developed the open-ended scale used to measure the magnitude of an earthquake. It's named for him. S uh, Samantha? The Victor scale? Uh, no, sorry, that's incorrect. Who is this American seismologist? Andy. Richter. Richter. Charles Richter is correct. It is the simplest hydrocarbon and the principal component of natural gas. What is that, Samantha? Methane. Methane is the chemical compound CH4. And finally, the winner of the 1989 Nobel Peace Prize is considered the incarnation of 13 previous spiritual leaders. Samantha. The Dalai Lama. Dalai Lama, the spiritual leaders of Tibet. 160 to 110. You really helped your team nicely. Our last player is Tim Gar, sophomore. He sails, and he even probably admits that he crashed his sailboat once. He won a silver award. He runs cross country, but gets lost during the competition. He admits that. He uh, participates in the J Junior Achievement Titan Business Challenge and is the youngest member on the team, but still manages to keep up with his teammates. Arjan Mu Mudan. And he is multitasking tonight. He's part of the orchestra quartet. He is also part of the Allstate Orchestra playing violin, the Wednesday Club Youth Orchestra, the Hershey Symphony, and he, he's working independent study in Latin IV, which has got to be a challenge. And he participates in the Chemistry Olympiad. Question for you. What did you do to get prepared for tonight? Uh, I actually have to thank my AP U.S. History class because they, helped, they gave me some trivia things and they gave me a rundown on all the important chick flicks of the 1980s. And I also have my lucky charm here. Oh, that's I, great. I won it last year at the, uh, as a door prize. Fantastic. And Arjun, you feeling all right tonight? You do multitasking, you're doing okay? Yeah, it's, it's all right. It hasn't uh, gotten too intense yet. All right, well, hopefully these two questions won't be too intense as we put you to one on one. The greatest city of ancient Sicily is now the name of a city and university in New York State. What's the name? Arjan. Ithaca? No, sorry, that's incorrect. Tim? Uh, correct answer is Syracuse. Lorraine Hansberry took the title A Raisin in the Sun from the poem A Dream Deferred. What black poet wrote it, Arjan? Langston Hughes. He's the one, yes. And finally, Great Britain's flag combines the crosses of St. George, St. Andrew, and St. Patrick. What is the popular name for that flag, Tim? Union Jack. The Union Jack is correct. 170. What a great round we played. Now, at the end of our tournament, one of our teams is going to walk away with a whole load of prizes, including $5,000 in scholarship money to one of the 14 universities that make the Pennsylvania State System of Higher Education, a generous cash scholarship of $2,500 from our corporate sponsor, Capital Blue Cross, and Capital Blue Cross has gone about to purchase some amazing prizes. I don't have the what those prizes are. Lori, you have the answer. Oh, I do. Yes, Capital Blue Cross, boy, they have really come out full force for this competition tonight. We're talking tickets, high electronic equipment, you name it. They're going to be giving out to the winning team and their school. Take a look at this prize list. Each student on the winning team will take home a Dell laptop computer. But remember, these teams are playing for their entire school. The winning school will give away some big time prizes during a prize raffle fair. They include another Dell laptop, digital cameras with docking stations, pocket PC.
15-inch LCD TVs, a camcorder, PlayStation portable core systems, iPod shuffles with iTunes gift cards, tickets to Hershey Park along with chocolate currency, also gift cards from Old Navy, AMC Theater, Red Robin Restaurant, and Visa, box seat tickets to a Harrisburg Center ball game, and VIP tickets to a Harrisburg City Islanders soccer game. Those tickets also come with Sheets gift cards. 56 prizes in all, valued at more than $10,000. Thanks, Lori. And our second place winners won't go home empty-handed. Each of the team members will walk away with two tickets to Hershey Park, compliments of Hershey Entertainment and Resorts. We'll be back with more live from Whitaker Center in just a moment. But first, here's the orchestra quartet from Cumberland Valley. Recently, car enthusiasts in L.A. and D.C. compared Camry, Accord, and the all-wheel drive Ford Fusion. Now drivers across the country are weighing in. On Yahoo Autos, an independent research site, users gave the Ford Fusion a higher overall rating than the top two imports in its class. Take the Ford Challenge and see why Fusion is the better choice. Lease a Fusion for $199 a month, now with only $17.28 to its signing. Visit your Quality Plus Ford dealers or go to FordChallenge.com. News 8 at 5. Meet David Schaefer, an outstanding teacher in the Susquehanna Valley, who is strumming his way into the hearts of his students. Hear how making music is helping students make the grade. A Teacher Impact Award winner. Friday at 5, only on News 8. On News 8's 11. Continuing coverage of a deadly day in Shippensburg. Two people are dead after a shooting and day-long standoff. And in Lancaster County, why police still want the public's help, even after four people have been charged with the murder of Ray Dina at 11. Looking to make a splash this summer? Head to Interiors the summer sale. Look for savings store-wide and for the first time ever get free financing until 2010. That's right, 2010. Choose from exciting styles for your entire home. Plus, ask about our free design service and next day. Did we mention free financing until 2010? Hurry, Interiors sale into summer sale ends Memorial Day at 4. Interiors, Centerville exit off Route 30. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy. The skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my Where do you see yourself this summer? Get there at the Saturn Memorial Day sale. For seven short days, get 0% financing for 60 months on select ovens like the Ion, View, and View Greenline Hybrid. Hurry, sale ends May 31st. See your local Saturn retailer today. to Capital Blue Cross Brain Busters Championship Final live from Whitaker Center. We are at the halfway point. We're about to play the fast-paced Subway 62nd Team Lightning Round. Now, Cumberland Valley, you are behind at this point, so you will select first among these. Potpourri, trivia, mixed facts. Ryan's consulting with his teammates. Potpourri, trivia, mixed facts. Trivia? Trivia, it is. Here's a variety of people, places, for 10 points each. Identify the following. Ryan, I take your answer as the team's answer. Sarah, we need 60 seconds on the subway clock, and we'll begin now. It's the sum of the interior angles of every plane triangle. 180 degrees. C correct. During World War II, he was Prime Minister of England. Winston Churchill. Correct. This African country's capital is... Kenya. Kenya. Correct. Name any year during the French Revolution. Uh, 18... Uh, 1790. That's incorrect. I'm sorry. 1789 to 1799. And what year did the 9-11 attack on World Trade Center take? 2001. Place? Correct. Newspapers in Denver, Houston, New York, and Washington, D.C. all have the same name. Post. Correct. What is the largest city in Wisconsin? Madison. No, no Milwaukee. Milwaukee. What amount of heat is needed to raise the temperature of one gram of water, one degree Celsius? Calorie. One calorie. Correct. For crude oil, there are 42 gallons in one of these. Sparrow. Yeah. Correct. From 1643 to 1715, he was the sun king of France. Louis XIV. Correct. In what country is Hamlet set? Denmark. 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 Correct. In a computer, they're the only two numbers in a bit. Yes. Zero, and one. Zero and one. Correct. What television network is owned by the Disney Corporation? ABC. Correct. He's played Peter Parker, a.k.a. Spider-Man, thrice. Terry Maguire. Correct. What is the Japanese word for goodbye? Sayonara. Correct. Esmeralda is the Gypsy 1831 Victor Hugo novel. Hunchback Nerdom. That is correct. Right on the buzzer. Nice job. 14 correct. 140 more points came your way. Cedar Cliff, Potpourri, or Mixed Facts. Mixed facts. Mixed facts it is. Here's a variety of mixed 
X. For 10 points each, identify the following. Robert, I take your answer as the team's answer. Colin, Andy, and Tim are going to help you along. 60 seconds on the subway clock, Saren. We'll begin now. It's the largest object in our solar system. Sun. The sun. Correct. What is the largest city in Colombia and its capital? Pagoda. Correct. In the century, was Henry VIII, King of England? 13th. 16th. Scout, Gem, and Atticus Finch are characters in this novel. To kill a mockingbird. To kill a mockingbird. Correct. And it's what a seismologist studies. Earthquakes. Earthquakes. Correct. This bay borders Virginia and Maryland. Chesapeake. Chesapeake. Correct. It's Tolstoy's big novel. War in Russia. Peace. War and Peace. Correct. George W. Bush's ranch is near this Texas town. Crawford. Crawford. Correct. Bottom puck and mustard seed appear in the Shakespearean play. Midsummer Night's Dream. Midsummer Night's Dream. Correct. In Greek mythology, he ferried the dead across the river Styx. Sharon. Sharon. Correct. The city of Mecca is in this country. Saudi Arabia. Correct. This green pigment allows plants to perform well, photosynthesis. Correct. These African Muslims ruled Spain from the 8th to the 12th Moors. century. The Moors. Correct. The plan for the economic recovery of Europe Marshall. after World War Marshall. II. Marshall. Correct. 18 French kings had this name. Louis. Louis. Correct. These century Japanese assassins dressed completely in black. Samurai. No, ninja. The International Red Cross began in this country with a red and white flag. Switzerland. Correct. He's the French composer of the... Ooh, that sound takes us to the end of the round. Nice job. 15 correct. 150 came more away. Lori, you have some special guests with you. I do. They are in fifth grade. We have Mark and Shayla. We're going to hear from them a little bit. Put them to the test when we come back after the break. But we end, go to the break with the Cedar Cliff Jazz Ensemble. Stay with us. More to come after this. Shop Wolf Furniture now and save 50% off all beds and dining room tables from Pennsylvania House and Kincaid. Choose any bed or dining room table from two of the finest furniture brands at half price. Even special orders. Plus, pay nothing for two years. That's nothing down, no monthly payments and no finance charges till May 2009. Price is so low, you can afford the fine furniture you want now. Pennsylvania House and Kincaid, half price for a limited time at Wolf Furniture. We were there for your grandfather when he slid into home. There for your father when he discovered disco. And no matter what tomorrow brings, we'll simply be there, like we've always been, for Capital Blue Cross. Then, now, always. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my Where sunshine. do you see your this summer? Get there at the Saturn Memorial Day Sale. For seven short days, get 0% financing for 60 months on select 07s, like the Ion, View, and View Greenline Hybrid. Hurry, sale ends May 31st. See your local Saturn retailer today. Are you suffering from the daily pain associated with ulcerative colitis? You're not alone. Currently there's a research study testing the safety and effectiveness of an FDA-approved medication for people affected by ulcerative colitis. If you're 18 or older and are currently experiencing active ulcerative colitis, you may be eligible to participate in this study. Qualified participants will receive study-related office visits and study medication at no cost. To learn more, call 1-800-497-9511. Good evening, everybody. Welcome back live to Whitaker Center for the championship for Blue Cross Brain Busters. The end is in sight, 320 to 260. But before the action resumes, here's a chance for two future Brain Busters to play against the Subway 60-second clock. Lori, you have our special guests with you. Do I ever, and they are they prepared more characters today. Now he's in fifth grade. He goes to Highland Elementary School, which is in the West Shore School District. So someday you're going to be at Cedar Cliff High School. And of course, we have Shayla Burnham here with us as well. She's with Silver Spring Elementary School. So someday you're going to be with Cumberland Valley School District. So first of all, they're both in fifth grade. Something in common because I think you both want to be marine biologists, but Mark, you're kind of veering towards doctor, right? Correct. Think in the future. So what's your favorite subject matter then? Uh, well, I like science and math. Okay, so we want a lot of science and math questions, Rich, okay? All right, Shayla, 
you um, what, what are your favorite subjects and I think you have a lot of people watching it tonight right yes yeah I do I really like math and then science okay Cause so these are gonna be good so, okay that's what we want those are the questions we want hint hint rich uh, when you have I know the camp your fifth graders are in camp right now they're all watching you can want to say hi hi, hi. I know they're all cheering her on right now okay we're gonna start with mark I know rich you're gonna have all the questions right I, I am indeed now just for being here both of these students are winners because Capital Blue Cross has put together four special box seats to the Harrisburg Senators. Now, for each correct response, Shayla, you will win a $5 gift certificate to one of my favorite stores, Boscov's. Now, Mark, we're going to start with you because you're representing Cedar Cliff. Would you like quiz A or quiz B? I'll take quiz A. Quiz A it is. Okay, we're going to put 60 seconds on the subway and we'll begin now. On which continents are North and South Korea located? Asia. Correct. In what century are we living? The 21st. Correct. What is the result when 7 is divided by 1 half? Pass. 14. To which class of animals do whales and seals belong? Mammals. Correct. What is the Roman numeral for 20? Pass. XX. Who wrote the play Hamlet? Shakespeare. Correct. In which U.S. city will you find the Liberty Bell? Philadelphia. Correct. How do you, what do you call two lines on a plane that never intersect? Parallel lines. Correct. What was the first name of U.S. President Madison? Pass. James, what is the two-letter abbreviation for pound? LB. Correct. What is the capital of Spain? Portugal. No, Madrid. What stimulant in tobacco is linked to cancer and heart disease? Pass. Nicotine, name of Queen Elizabeth II's London home? Pass. Buckingham Palace. How many years does one term of a U.S. senator last? Two years. Six years. What author wrote Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn? Tom, uh... That is correct. What is the more familiar name for the star Polaris? The North Star. That is absolutely correct. Well, that sound takes us to the end of the round. Nice job. Good job, many, Mark. Six correct. We, uh, that is excellent. We have a $30 gift certificate from Boscov. Shayla, you're obviously with Quiz B. Good luck to you all set. 60 seconds on the clock. And we'll begin now. In what city will you find the Eiffel Tower? Paris. Correct. Who wrote Charlie in the Chocolate Factory? Adult. That is correct. Kidney, Navy, and Pinto are all examples of what kind of food? Pass. In which state? That's beans. In which state is the Grand Canyon located? Oklahoma. No, Arizona. Glaucoma is a disease. What part of the body does it affect? Pass. The eye. Animals are, uh, that herbivores eat only what? Plants. That is correct. What is the capital of Iraq? Pakistan. Baghdad. What is the reciprocal of one third? Three. That first. is correct. <laughs> For three, yes. During the Declaration of Independence sign? Pass. 18th century. Which bird is the symbol of the United States? The rough grouse. No, the bald mm -hmm. eagle. What unit of measurement is one twelfth of a foot? A inch. That is correct. The men and women on the Supreme Court are called. Pass. They're called justices. Well, that's the end. You did a great job. You did they good. were difficult. Five correct. $25 gift certificate for you, Shayla. Great job. Well, we're getting down to the wire. It's now time for our to wager what they might know about a particular topic for today's bonus brain buster. So players, get ready. Today's bonus brain buster category is cinema and history. Now our players are going to wager from 0 to 50 points based on their knowledge cinema and history. Remember, this is the only question where you can actually lose points. And we'll be back with more of the championship final of Capital Blue Cross Brain Busters live from Whitaker Center for Science and the Arts. But first, let's listen to some music from the Cumberland Valley Orchestra Quartet. <laughs> WGAL and Penn State Children's Hospital want your help in making miracles happen for kids across the Susquehanna Valley. Hi, I'm Doug Allen. And I'm Brian Roach. Tune in Saturday, June 2nd from 7 to 8 p.m. And Sunday morning beginning at 9 for the Children's Miracle Network celebration right here on Channel 8. Your donations during this special event help provide the latest in life-saving technology to help kids right here in the Susquehanna Valley. Join us June 2nd and 3rd and make sure miracles continue to happen. Bonton's Memorial Day Mattress Sale and Closeout is our biggest event of the season. Save 50% on all ceiling 
mattress sets, every size and firmness. Save 40% on all Stearns & Foster luxury sets. Plus, it's your last chance to purchase a Simmons Caress Memory Foam Queen Set for only $998, our lowest price ever. And receive free delivery and free removal of old mattress. The Memorial Day sale and closeout ends Monday. Come to the right place. Fun time. What makes a great backyard celebration? Great friends and great fresh food from Wise. From delicious meats and vegetables to fresh deli items, Wise brightens any occasion. Fire up your grill and save with your preferred Shoppers Club card on Wise Steakhouse Angus Top Round London Broil. Buy one, get one free. Regular or jumbo Kunzler Meat Franks. Buy one, get one free. And season whole seedless watermelons, just $4.99 each. Wise, where freshness matters. Toyota's 50th anniversary celebration is on now with the biggest Toyota selection in history. Check out the fuel-efficient Prius or the stylish Camry. And just announced, Prius package savings up to $2,000. And a tax credit will save you even more on the best-selling hybrid car in America. Or go with a versatile and fuel-efficient Matrix and get $750 cash back from Toyota. It's Toyota's 50th anniversary, but you're the one getting the gifts. Good evening and welcome back live to Whitaker Center for Science and the Arts. I'm here with Cedar Cliff in Cumberland Valley. The end is in sight. During our break, our teams went 50 points based on their knowledge of cinema and history. Today, we're going to run over to Access Hollywood and Nancy O'Dell to hear today's question. Nancy? Thank you very much, Rich, and thanks so much for inviting me to be a part of tonight's Capital Blue Cross Brain Busters Championship. We are excited about the special championship broadcast and invite everybody to come back here each weeknight at 7.30 for Access Hollywood. Now let's get down to this question. The movie 300, based on Frank Miller's graphic novel, is a fictional version of this battle fought in 480 B.C. named the battle that pitted 300 Spartans against the Persian army. Once again, the movie 300, based on Frank Miller's graphic novel, is a fictional version of this battle fought in 480 B.C., Name the battle that pitted 300 Spartans against the Persian army. You got it? Good luck with your answer. And now, back to you, Rich, at the Whitaker Center. Thanks, Nancy. Teams, you have about five seconds. Good luck. Looks like they both knew the answer. Okay. Score of 320. Cedar Cliff, Robert, we begin with you. 25 points. Thermopylae is absolutely correct. We're going to add 25 points to your score, taking you to 345. Ryan, it's up to you. 50 points saying Thermopylae. Good wager, taking you up to 310. 345 to 310. Who's going to come to be crowned the 2007 Capital Blue Cross Brain Busters champions? We're going to find out right now with today's Keystone Health Final Frenzy. 20 point questions. Good luck to all eight of you. Here we go. During World War II, he resisted the Japanese occupation, then drove out the French in night. Colin. Ho Chi Minh. One, yes, he suggested that the guardians of the ideal state be educated as philosophers. Colin again. Plato. Plato is the one. The Rome River enters this Swiss lake at one end and exits it at another. Robert. Geneva. Geneva is the largest lake in Central Europe. His paintings are portraits of anxiety with titles like Night, The Sick Child, and The Scream. Andy. Edward Monk. He's the one, yes. It's said that he predicted the League of Nations, Adolf Hitler, and the atomic bomb. Tim. Nostradamus. He's the one, yes. It follows the adventures of Lyra Balacqua and Will Perry in search of a mysterious called Dust. Colin. His Dark Materials. No, that is correct. Yes, it is the trilogy by Philip Pullman. Yes, thank you. It's the romantic story of two couples, Hero and Claudio, uh, Be Beatrice and Benedict. Samantha. Much to do about nothing. That is the Shakespearean play. Beale Street had been called the mean black America. In what Tennessee town can you hear the blues, Ryan? Mm, Nashville. No, sorry, incorrect. Can you hear the blues on Beale Street, uh, Cedar Cliff? Robert. Memphis. Memphis is correct, yes. It is a genetic trait carried by one parent, which will now appear in a child not to appear in a child unless it is matched. Colin. Recessive. Recessive trait is, yes, is absolutely correct. It included the present states of Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, Michigan, Wisconsin. Robert. Northwest Territory. The Northwest Territory was ceded to the United States in 1786. It was the first hormone produced through genetic engineering 60 years. Samantha. Insulin. Insulin is absolutely correct. Yes, his most famous humorous poems include the shooting of Dan McGrew and the cremation of Sam McGee. Colin. Robert Service. He's the turn-of-the-century Canadian writer we were going for, yes. He was the only unelected vice president for the only unelected president. Michael. 
Gerald Ford? No, sorry, incorrectly. Who was Gerald Ford's vice president, Colin? Rockefeller. He's the one, Nelson Rockefeller. In 1905, this French psychologist created the first of a series of intelligence tests, later revised at a California university near Palo Alto. Michael. Bine Binet is the man who first measured IQ, yes. In the movie Il Postino, this Chilean poet helps his mailman win the woman he loves. Who won the 1971 Nobel Prize in Literature? Andy. Lorca. No, sorry, incorrect. Come to the Pablo Neruda. The international airport at Taipei, Taiwan is named for this Chinese leader. Who with the Nationalist Party, Ryan? Chiang Kai-shek. He's the one, yes. In November 2004, a federal judge found the Bush administration guilty of violating these international agreements that provide Michael. You are correct. In 1996, he designed the logo for DreamWorks Records, a musical note in a thought balloon against a blue striped background in a clean cartoon-like style. Who is this pop artist? Andy. Warhol? No, sorry, incorrect. Cumberland Valley. The only other one I can think of is Roy Lichtenstein. They are the faint overtones that appear with any musical tone and provide its characteristic color. What do musicians call these sympathetic vibrations? They call them harmonics. Well, that's how it takes it to the end of the round. End of the game. Looks like Cedar Cliff is a 2007 Capital Blue Cross Brain Busters champion. We'll be back for the presentation of the checks in just a moment. Congratulations. month and it just keeps getting better. Thanks to all my new friends at Pontiac, we're collecting more cards for the troops than we ever could have on our own. And now they want to say thanks to you. Now through May 31st during the Memorial Pontiac owners get this sign and drive low mileage lease on a G6 sedan for around $199 a month. Tax title license and dealer fees extra. Call for residency restrictions and details. Visit PontiacHotBuys.com. Offer ends May 31st. There's only one thing as important as good health for our children, and that's education. I'm Anita Smith, President and CEO of Capital Blue Cross. By simply supporting our schools and our teachers, we give our children the opportunities they need to succeed. When you get involved in your education, you'll create a thirst for knowledge that will last a lifetime. Capital Blue Cross. Simple. Wait, don't get in the pool until you've saved big at Goods' biggest holiday furniture flooring sale. It's all on sale, as much as 40% off at Goods, with 12 months free interest. Like this beautiful sofa and love seat, $8.99. Or this four-piece bedroom, $14.99. Or this great recliner, only $2.99. Delivered in three days or less by appointment. Shop Furniture and Flooring's biggest holiday furniture and flooring sale. The good life, the better buys. And now, back to your holiday. You are good. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. Oh, no, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my Where do you see yourself this summer? Get there at the Saturn Memorial Day Sale. For seven short days, get 0% financing for 60 months on select 07s, like the Ion Greenline Hybrid. Hurry, sale ends May 31st. See your local Saturn retailer today. Saturday at 7. When your children are in school, you expect them to be safe. But after classes end, the most dangerous time of the day begins. There was no chance of getting caught. Drugs, crime, and more. If we care about children, we have to care about what they're doing all the time. How to keep kids safe and make a positive impact on their lives, even if you're not there. After the Bell, a News 8 Learning Matters special, Saturday at 7. Sponsored by Millersville and Belco Community Credit Union.
Welcome back live to Capital Blue Cross Brain Busters Championship Final. We are live at Whitaker Center for Science in the played our game and what a terrific competition it was. The final score, 565 for our champions, Cedar Cliff High School against Cumberland Valley 410. You did a fantastic job, Teep. Congratulations. But first, they have so many prizes coming their way, but of course we want to talk about some of the scholarship money from one of our sponsors, the Pennsylvania State System of Higher Education. It gives me great pleasure to introduce to you Dr. Peter H. Garland, the Executive Vice Chancellor of the State System of Higher Education. Thank you, Dr. What did you think of the show tonight? As always, an exciting championship round. It's pretty amazing how quick these children can recall information. Absolutely amazing. Most of the rest of us couldn't do as well with as the fifth graders did, but uh, these were certainly impressive performances by both teams. Well, you're holding something big in your hand, Dr. We'd love to know what that sure. is. Sure. Uh, each year, as proud sponsors of the uh, Capital Blue Cross, uh, uh, excuse me, uh, Brain Busters competition, we, our foundation, the Pennsylvania State System of Higher Education Foundation, provides a $5,000 scholarship to the winning team for use by or other members of their school in honor of the great recog and the recognition of their great achievements here academically. So this money goes to the school, and in their honor, yes. the team can divvy out the money yes. as they see fit. Definitely. Fantastic. Why do you think it's important for the state system to sponsor a show like this? I think it's important because uh, there's uh, competitions that take place on fields and in sports and other places, and it's nice to recognize true academic achievement. Well, Dr. Garland, on behalf of all the teams and everybody here at Brain Busters, thanks so much to the Pennsylvania State System of Higher Education. And now, here's Lori with a oh. special... Rich, you know what? Jewel Lockman, Capital Blue Cross, can I tell you, they are the ones that are such big fans of, of Brain Busters, and Jewel's the one that gets to go to the schools and divvy out all those fantastic prizes. But thanks to Capital Blue Cross for doing this year after year after year. I know, Jewel, you get a kick out of this. I do. It is a lot of fun, and Capital Blue Cross is so proud to sponsor this competition every year. We're so proud of both teams this evening. They did so well. It's great. I tell you what, these students are on to bigger and better things once they graduate high school. You have a very special something in your hand? Yes, we have a $2,500 scholarship to be divided evenly among the team um, from Capital Blue Cross, as well as, like you said, the prize raffle fair we have coming up for Cedar Cliff. That'll be fun. Yeah. Thank you so much, Joel, for being here, and thanks to Capital Blue Cross. Thank you. And all right, Lori, Rich. thank you for being here. Thanks to all of you. And people at Cedar Cliff, the entire student body has a chance to win thousands of dollars worth of prizes. So be ready. Good luck to all, all of you. Lori, thanks for being here. Thank Jewel, you. we love you. Dr. Garland, teams, congratulations. What a great feeling, huh? Good job. Thank you. There's a buzz in the air this summer about the Comcast Triple Play. And why not? Comcast Digital Cable is perfect for your active schedule. With on-demand, you can watch when it's convenient for you. Comcast High-Speed Internet brings you blistering fast download speeds. And Comcast Digital Voice lets you talk as long as you like to anyone anywhere in the country. Need more buzz? Right now, get the Comcast Triple Play. That's cable, internet, and phone for only $33 each per month for 12 months when you get all three. Call Comcast today. All across Pennsylvania, cops are cracking down like never before. It doesn't matter where you drive. If you don't buckle up, you will get caught. Flick it or ticket. This has been an amazing month, and it just keeps getting better. Thanks to all my new friends at GMC, we're collecting more cards for the troops than we ever could have on our own. And now they want to say thanks to you. Now through May 31st, GMC Memorial Day sales event, get 0% APR financing plus a thousand bonus cash on the all-new Sierra. It's our way of saying thanks. Visit GMCHotBuys.com by May 31st.